back. Bus drivers demanding change now. Today they crowded Hart's first board of directors meeting since bus driver Thomas Dunn was killed on his own bus, leaving an empty seat for him. You see it there. They were holding up signs saying, quote, we are Thomas Dunn. ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee shows us their emotional pleas for safety changes and the board's next steps. Vera Johnson isn't holding back. He was more than a driver. He was like a friend. She and dozens of other drivers were sharing memories of Dunn and personal moments of terror, describing their own assault, demanding bulletproof glass enclosures to buy them time during an attack. We're looking for something that will uh, help a driver to go home, not identify who did it. They also say many of the panic buttons on the buses are broken and need to be fixed. One maintenance worker told board members the bus police say Dunn was stabbed to death in was stored at the maintenance facility hours later. Hart introduced me to a new smell I never smelled before in my life, which is the smell of death. She says employees had to help forensic detectives dressed in hazmat suits open the back of the bus. That's going to affect me the rest of my life. That's going to affect me. She thinks Hart should be storing buses off site in situations like this. The CEO of Hart heard those concerns at today's meeting, but didn't address them. As part of their new safety and security plan, Hart installed monitors and HD cameras on every bus, but board members say it isn't enough. The plan never talked about what type of shields they have, never talked about the buttons that was important to them. It's why Commissioner Les Miller put together a committee that is meeting as soon as possible with union members to gather ideas on safety and security and then take action right away to get funding for glass enclosures. Take some of these cameras off, send them back, get the money back and put some shields for us in there. Board members say they want to know immediately how many buses don't have working panic buttons and how long it will take to fix them. Heather Lee, ABC Action News. Going in depth now, bus drivers on both sides of the bay have been pushing for safety improvements since Thomas Dunn's murder. A representative for a union says the Pinellas Suncoast Transit Authority is promising to put bulletproof safety enclosures in half of its buses. PSTA is working on coming up with a total cost for glass enclosures on all of their buses to see if that would be a feasible option. Right now.